Hello everyone, welcome to Market Wanderer web design tutorials. I'm David from Market Wanderer. And in today's video, we are going to redesign the IKEA front page. So as always, I'm going to start with creating a new prototype. And I'm just going to choose my web page. And I'm going to hit create. So I'm going to start with adding first our logo. So I'm just going to choose my image widget and then I'm just going to try to find my image on my computer. So once uh, this is in, I want to add like this hamburger menu beside the logo that when clicked is going to reveal a, like a full, a full page uh, menu, like a mobile style full page menu. So for that, I'm going to try to find my um, like a hamburger icon. And I think I'm going to go with this font awesome hamburger menu and we need to put it beside the logo. So what I want to happen here is when I click on this hamburger menu, I want to see this full page menu. So first I'm going to create a new state and we can even call it a menu. And this icon is supposed to link to this menu state. So I'm just going to link it over here. And in here, I'm going to create the background. And I'm going to make it um, IKEA blue. And I'm also going to add my logo to this uh, screen. So I'm just going to go to my home screen, grab this logo. I'm going to copy it and paste it here inside this screen. And uh, here on the right hand side, I'm going to add like this uh, like a cross icon. And I'm just going to bring it over. Of course, we need to change its color. And maybe I'm going to make it just a bit bigger. I'm going to put it on the side somewhere here and I'm going to align these guys nicely. So now I want this icon to link to my first state. So I'm going to link it to the first state. And if we now preview our design, you can see that if we click on this hamburger icon, we got our uh, well screen state. And then if we click on the close button, we are back with our first screen. So I'm just going to grab my text widget. And I'm just gonna you know, type some, um, some like simple, you know, uh, links. So when everything is done, I just want to align everything nicely to the center and make sure that everything is nicely distributed. So then I'm just going to group everything and put it nicely in the center in relation to our background. So here inside Mocket, we can also add the widget states. So if I just, for instance, grab this home link, we can see that we got this add widget state option. So right now we get two states, like default states. So in the first one, my font is gonna be white, but in the second one, if I just double click on it, I'm going to change the, uh, the color to yellow like that. So what I want to do is I want to go from white to yellow when I hover over this link and from yellow to white when I hover uh, like off this link. So I'm going to grab the first state and I'm going to go to event and I'm going to add an event and my event is going to be mouse in and for the action I'm going to choose change widget state and I want to go from and I want to go to the next state which would which would be our second state. And for the second state, I'm also going to add an event and it's going to be a mouse out event and it's going to be change widget state and I want it to go to the previous state. If we now just preview this guy, you can see when we hover over this guy, it's it well, it turns yellow. When we hover out, it turns uh, white. So I'm just going to off click, exit the editing and we can preview our design. So we got this menu working like that. When we hover over our home, you can see that it changes its color. And then we can just click on this, um, this guy, this X symbol, so we can see our well, first, um, first screen. So we could uh, continue this understanding and uh, create something like a, maybe like a language switcher here at the top. So I'm going to start with dropping in some images, like my first flag. So I'm just going to drop it in. 
and surely it needs some adjustments like size adjustments but what I want to do now is I want to simply just type in uh, like English beside my flag and I'll change some aspects of my font and now it's just a matter of you know making the, the all the sizes right so I'm gonna make this flag a, a, just a bit smaller put it somewhere beside my text let me just zoom in a bit. Maybe I'll make this font just a bit smaller to something like that and, uh, and the image as well. And then of course we need to just make sure that everything is nicely aligned. So then we can put it somewhere here to the side. We can align everything nicely uh, later. So now all we have to do is to find an icon for our language uh, switcher. So let's try to find for, uh, let's try to find like a chevron font. I'm gonna grab this one and of course we need to rotate this guy and I'm gonna put it somewhere here and I guess we can make it just a bit smaller and change its color to like a darker gray and of course now we have to make sure that everything is also nicely aligned to the center. So now I'm just quickly going to add some like two more languages. So lastly, I think I'm just going to add something like a background beneath our first, uh, this first um, language. It's going to look something like this. Of course, it needs to go to the back. And I'm going to change its color. I'm going to make it very, very light gray, something like this. And maybe I'm going to round its corners just a little bit. So now that I have these guys created, I'm simply going to maybe copy this background and I'm going to extend it just a bit to the bottom and a bit to the top, to somewhere here. And of course it needs to go all the way to the back. What I would like to do now is I would like to create another widget state. So for that, I'm just going to grab all of these elements and group them by pressing Ctrl G and I'm gonna add a widget state. What I wanna happen right now is when I click on this language uh, switcher, I actually want to see uh, all these elements. So first, what I want to do is uh, my like first state, I don't want to see this background, so this guy, and these flags. So I'm just going to drop their opacity all the way to zero. But in the second state, I do want to see them. So I'm going to grab this language uh, switcher and I'm going to create an event. And on the click, I would like to change the widget state. So from the first state, I want to go to my, well, state number two. And when I'm on my state two, when everything is visible, I also want to add the event. And on click, I just want to you know, change the widget state. I want to go back to my first state. So if we now just preview, if we now click on that widget, you can see that, you know, that it's actually, uh, actually changing. So now if we just preview our page, if I click on this switcher, you can see that it's nicely dropping down these language selections. So now let's add uh, just like a search icon, maybe like a shopping basket icon and maybe an avatar. So I'm also gonna add like a, you know, like an avatar. And I wanna crop it using this uh, circular cutting function. And maybe we can just adjust some things a little bit. So let's now create something like a quick link bar here at the bottom. So I'm just going to create a nice little rectangle looking something like this. And of course it needs to have a proper uh, yellow color. And uh, inside I'm just going to type in something like um, hello mark. And I'm going to position it where it needs to go. And of course, we need to change, uh, you know, our font aspects. And then I'm just going to copy this guy, put it somewhere here to the side and simply create some links. So now we could again benefit from our widget states. So this guy right here, I've turned it into a group and I'm just going to add this avatar image into our group. So right now all of these elements are a group. So now I'm gonna go to the widget state. 
So what I want to do is I want to use this avatar right here. And whenever I click on it, I want to see this uh, this bar right uh, right here. So this would be our initial state. So for that, I just want to grab this bar right here and I want to lower the opacity all the way to zero. And in our second state, we are indeed supposed to see everything. So when we grab our avatar, I'm going to go to the first state. So in our first avatar, I'm going to create an event. So on uh, click, I want to change the widget state and I want to go to state two. And on state two, when I create an event, I just want to on a click, I want to change the state, the widget state. I want to go to our like state one. So if we now just preview our uh, design, if we click on that, this is our bar. If we click again, it hides. So I'm just going to exit this editing mode. So next up, I'm going to divide this design into two main parts. So on the left, let's add something like a nice big bold heading. And beneath that, I'm just going to add a straight line. And beneath that line, we can simply add, uh, you know, something like a dummy text. And below, I'm just going to quickly create a button. So I'm going to grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to round uh, the corners like um, quite dramatically. But uh, first, let me just change the fill color to our yellow color. And then we can actually make our corners rounded somewhat heavily to something like that. And then I'm just going to maybe borrow this piece of text. And of course, I'll make it white. There we go. And I'm going to type in something like learn more. And uh, inside, I guess we can add something like a simple ellipse. And I'm going to put it over our button, maybe somewhere here. And over that, I'm just going to add an icon. So now we can simply select all of these elements and turn them into a group. So now we can simply nicely align everything to the center in relation to our page. So now I'm just going to draw out the image widget. So now I can simply add an image to this uh, widget. So if we now take a look at uh, our design, you can see that there's a bit of a problem right here. So this bar is being put beneath our image and that's easily fixable. All we need to do is to make sure that this guy is actually sent to back. And now if we take a look at our project one more time. So now if we click on this avatar, you can see that our this well, this bottom bar right here is actually being put over our image. So now let's uh, maybe just make sure that this guy is nicely aligned and I'm just going to drag this guy out so we got some more room to work with and I'm going to create something like a you know, like a bottom part of our landing page starting with adding a new background so I'm just going to draw out a rectangle that we can always you know fix maybe I'm just going to print over here and of course I'm going to need some nice light gray background that's going to look more or less like this so what we definitely need is uh, some like text here on the left, but uh, maybe without this uh, button, but uh, I'm going to definitely copy this guy and paste it somewhere here. I'm just going to put it uh, right here and uh, I'm going to change this text. And uh, instead of this button right here, I'm just going to maybe get rid of this text and I'm going to borrow this arrow. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to get rid of this button and maybe I'll just copy this guy right here and all we really need to do is we just need to rotate it something like that and maybe I'm just going to move uh, move these guys somewhere here to the side because in just a second we are going to create something like a carousel of products here on the side. But before that, uh, I'm just going to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. So first I'm going to group these guys. And then we can just grab all of these elements and simply distribute them vertically like that. And uh, maybe lastly, I'm just going to group them just so you know, uh, just for 
organizational purposes like that. So uh, before adding our uh, product cards, let's quickly create some categories here at the top. And to indicate uh, which uh, card we are actually on, I'm going to add an icon. So I'm just going to type in chevron and I'm going to bring one chevron in like that. And I want to change its color to our yellow. And uh, I think it would be a good idea if we just turn it over, something like that, and just put it like beneath um, our, well, in this case, the kitchen, uh, kitchen category. So once that's done, let me just maybe zoom in a little bit to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. I'm just going to align these elements and we can group them. So then we can just select all the remaining categories so we can simply distribute them horizontally like that. And lastly, we could maybe even group all of these elements just like that. So let's continue with adding some products right here. And I'm going to start with adding a background that is going to look more or less uh, like this. And then on top, I'm just going to add uh, my first price, which would be something like, I don't know, $39.99. And of course, we need to play around with the font a little bit so it matches our design. So next up in the center spot, I want to add my first image. And then, of course, we can play around with the positioning a little bit. And, uh, of course, we need to add the name of our uh, piece of furniture. Also, on the side, we could maybe create some like a ser series of, uh, of ellipses. And that might indicate that, you know, there's, um, well, there's a, some kind of a color choice and that, uh, you know, for our piece of furniture. And uh, once uh, that is done, I'm just going to create something like a button here at the bottom. Uh, first, I'm going to maybe create a simple like call to action, which is going to be this add to cart uh, text. Um, maybe I'm going to make it just a bit smaller. And then I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that is going to be yellow. And over this button, I'm just going to add like a simple plus icon. And I'm going to make sure that it's nicely aligned to the center. And of course, at this stage, we could play around with some positioning. Maybe we could change, you know, like the font size of some elements. That would be totally, uh, totally up to you. But basically, our card uh, is uh, finished. All that is uh, really left at this stage is to just grab all of these elements and we can just group it. So now we can just copy and paste this guy and move it somewhere here to the side and then do it one more time. And uh, really all that's left to do is to just change the prices, change the text, of course, change the images and uh, definitely change uh, the names of our pieces of furniture. So to wrap things up, we could, for instance, just grab some of these elements and maybe like align them a bit better, maybe grab this guy and move it to the side. You know, that would be totally up to you. What uh, the, well, the most important thing is that basically this design is finished. And when we preview it, you can see that we got our elements nicely, uh, nicely well arranged. And of course, our menus work as they're supposed to, the home link also works this animation and also our language switcher uh, works uh, as intended. Okay, so that's all for today's episode. Uh, you can check out the link in our description to try mock it for free and create your own design. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next web design episode.